Now let's take a look at a drawer navigator, which if you start reaching the capacity of a tab navigator is a great way to add additional options. Just like before, we're going to import create drawer navigator from at react dash navigation slash drawer. We can then go ahead and create our drawer navigator which I'll assign to the variable app drawer. This is going to equal create drawer navigator. We can then say const app drawer screen is equal to a function which just returns a component in which we call our app drawer dot navigator. Inside of here, we can go ahead and set up our app drawer dot screen. We can give it a name. We're going to call this tabs. We can also give it a component. And in this case, just like before, we're going to render our tabs as our screen. So we'll pass our app tabs screen. We can then go ahead and use our app drawer screen. And now we don't see any indicator, right? But if we go ahead and drag from the right, we can go ahead and see we've got our tabs. Alternatively, we can go ahead and add another screen. We'll call this settings. We need to go ahead and import our settings screen. Import settings from dot dot forward slash screen slash settings. And now when we open this up, we can see we've got our screens and our different drawers showing up. Now alternatively, rather than having to swipe to open it, let's go to our tabs. Actually, we'll go to our settings screen. And inside of here, what we can do, once again, we're going to import React. We're going to import button from react-navigation. I'm also going to import a safe area view. And what we can do here is go ahead and render our safe area view, render our button, and I'll say the title for this button is toggle drawer. And then on press, what we can do is actually call a function. And in here, just like before, we've got access to a navigation prop because it's registered with a navigator. And in here, what we can do is call a function that says navigation.toggle drawer. Because there's a drawer navigator in the parent of this settings screen, we've got access to this toggle drawer. And rather, sorry, for this error, it's not React Navigation, it's React Native. Uh, so what I was saying is that since there's a parent drawer above this settings screen, we've got access to this toggle drawer function, which is going to allow us to toggle the drawer. So I went ahead and opened it by swiping, but now if I press toggle drawer, you can see it's going to do the same thing. If we click over in this gray area, it'll close it, and it's just going to go ahead and do it. You've also got access to open drawer and close drawer. I much prefer toggle just because it prevents anything from getting into some weird state. So it's going to do the inverse of what the drawer's current state is. And just like that, you've got a drawer navigator set up and configured, and it works, or it's configured just like a stack navigator or a tab navigator, but it gives you that functionality of a drawer.